it to rip. I fucked up. <laughs> they didn't let it rip properly. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back. Hey everyone, we're back on Overrate, the show where we think games and we run out of life and we, uh, yeah, I'm going on. <laughs> I ran out of jokes. <laughs> we ran out of jokes. <laughs> Who are you again? I'm I'm Sai, I think. So and what are we gonna do today, Sai? We're gonna do side quests. Yes, but more specifically, we're gonna be. Um, hello, yeah. kids. This is a PSA for all of you. Um, saving money is good. So on today's episode, go on, Sai. I'm gonna save money. <laughs> Cue the montage. Yes. Anyway, so um, that ends the montage. Sorry, you had to go to guy. We kind of wasted your time there. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fucking quick. Oh, you know what we should do? We should speed up time again. We should speed up time again? Yes. Why do we want to speed up time again? Because we want it to be night. Uh, don't we want to... Sooner rather than later. Wait, let me check something first before we commit a horrendous mistake. Let me make sure the guy you're thinking of isn't right, right here. Or you think of another no, he's, guy? No, 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 I'm thinking about this guy and he shows up at night. Are you sure? 100%. So ha! You're not uh -huh. here! Let's make you show up. Uh, what was the song again? Double time. Song of double times. Yeah, that. That's the song. Proceed to the night of the second day? No, that's not the song. That's the song! Then we want to like oh we oh we just want to like skip ahead. We yeah, yeah, wanna, yeah, like, yeah. You said go back to normal time. This is why I thought you meant. I, okay, I meant go back to normal time, but this works as well. So like it's fine. Okay, well this this works. Thirty six hours remaining. Oh my god, he just showed up. I love how they just kind of sort of appear. When Hello, you... sir. You were not here like two seconds ago. What's your trouble? La, la, la. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. Yeah, so they got mad and now he's sad. I'll just think about the past. I don't really want to sing this song. <laughs> no, but it rhymes. Well, yeah, it's poetry. Dear guest, long ago, I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys. And so, sir, have you been smoking the green? <laughs> why could a why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. Oh, we're getting philosophical over here. Uh, but yeah, like if oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> the dog the leader. <laughs> Because because dogs are <laughs> dogs are man's best friend, but I guess they're not. That just doesn't really work as an excuse man's here. Man's boss. Anyway, the dog was an amazing leader. Yeah, this is why he was ahead because he was an amazing leader. Um, and anyway, he's oh you dumb piece of shit! You stole the dog's mask. Why would you do that? Because he wanted to be the leader. But. You don't need it anymore. You feel you feel good about yourself. You stole like a thing, and you ruined the animal troop. I think he gives it to you because he feels guilty about it. Okay, can we can we real talk? I'm not exactly sure what we've been doing up to now, but can we can we? Why was the dog's mask a bird? Because yeah, explain this away. Why was the dog's mask a bird? Because. I don't fucking know. Anyway, the leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. Psst, that's a hint. Pay attention. Yeah. I don't know why why the um why the leader was a dog, but I know why the mask is a bird. Yeah, I think it's taken um I regrettably don't have this right off the top of my head, but I think it's taken from like an old Japanese book tale, which is why it's like a dog. Um as the leader of the animal troop. Um, and they're just kind of like pillaging it. From what? You know what else they're pillaging? Uh, that that uh, character model. Like, if you remember him, he like he yeah, also has a sad story in Ocarina of Time. He's the one we, that teaches you the Song of Storms in Ocarina of Time. Yes. And that you teach the Song of Storms to in Ocarina of Time. That is a weird game. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I think what's curious is like some other characters in this game when they pillage their character models Like they give them a whole new like character story and such mm -hmm. But like even though he's getting like a new like backstory here It's essentially kind of like the same tragic story for the music man from uh, It is? How? 
Well, like, in the sense that he's, like, a musician and he was very happy with his life, but then, like, he had a tragic turn. And now he regrets that tragic turn happening. In Ocarina of Time, it's really, like, the player's fault. Yeah, uh, whereas he, whereas here, whereas here, because this is Majora's Mask, the adult game, it's actually his fault. Uh, but but that's I guess that's what I'm getting at is like it's an interesting use on behalf of the developers of taking like a very recognizable character from the previous game, and you know letting just his character model add that little extra, um, I guess, uh, gravitas to the story they're trying to like the little story they're trying to tell with him. Okay, just like because it's him. No, be think, because it works as a shorthand. I think this guy shows up at like eleven. At like eleven. Oh, so yeah. So now, now it's good. It's a good idea to uh, return maybe. the flow of time to normal. Yes. So how did we do that again? Um, the song of down time. A, but... Right down. No, down yeah, it's a, gonna be down a rate. Right, down a rate. Right. Yeah. Down a rate. Right, down a rate. Right. No. It's no, you played it's... the right one. That's it's, not what we want yeah, to do. Yeah, it's down a right. No, we do not want to return to the first day. So it's down a right. Down a, a right. right. There you go. There we go. Okay. The thing is, like, because it's a three note loop, um, if you miss, like, the first note or the right, first Right, it, it kind of goes back into, goes back into, <laughs> the, regular into song. the regular song of time. Yes. I guess we can do a... Uh, we can try and burn some time while we wait for our guy over here to show up uh but yeah i guess uh one of the interesting um um uh, whatchamacallit like side effects of taking so many art assets from the previous game mm -hmm. is that um it lets the developers kind of take advantage of what players already know about that character model and let that inform the new character in the game in some way or another so I think I think the musician man is 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 made more uh, like his story gets more depth just because they chose. Oh, you to know what we can do his while we wait what? for four hours. Oh, it's gonna be four hours. Okay, yeah, this we need to find out something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> we can go. I thought it was gonna be a couple of minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> we can go check if the um. If if the crater for the thing is there before the moon gears, I, I don't think we can oh. do that fast enough. I think we can. Oh, I guess we could do it from outside. I think we could actually check it out from over here. But yes, I agree with like, what you were saying. Um, that, yeah, like just having the character model yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of adds something to to like that tragic animal troop mm -hmm. stealing story. It's I mean like it's weird, but it's actually a story about like stealing and ruining is something good and you know is feeling remorseful about it no it's it's actually not there it's actually not there yeah, look the, to the right programmers were look, look to the right programmers were really competent and they made sure to program that key event to change the texture nice <laughs> yeah I, I, i'm guessing it's probably just like they they snap on an extra texture when probably the yeah. falls and they just leave it there after that yeah um That's cool. <laughs> oh, right. The show where we think sprites are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually about to go into, uh, since we're right here in, in the overworld, yeah. about how like oversimplified this overworld is, even compared to um, Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time. The thing is, like, this one is a lot smaller than Hyrule Field was, even in Ocarina of Time. The thing is, like, Ocarina of Time is supposed to feel big. Yeah. While Termina was supposed to feel doomed. I guess, but it's not so much the doom part that's weird to me. It's just that it's... Like, like I think it works well for the game, but it's just the symmetry is extremely off-putting, in a way. Off-putting? Like, off-putting, like how? Well, because it, like... It's not realistic, and, and I'm using realistic here in a very, like, specific... Like, of course, Zelda's not realistic. Don't at me. Uh, I mean, like... It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's jarring because in the real world, things aren't this symmetrical. Okay. Right? So so what, what, what that leads me to, to believe is that what they kind of had in mind is this is not supposed... It's supposed to, on the one hand, be kind of like that overall situation 
much like you saw. And why is this, why is your guy not here yet? I'm like trying to burn time here. I'm waiting for him to show up. I know. I was thinking the same thing. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure why he hasn't showed up. Are you sure up. it was 11? <laughs> Maybe it's midnight. Maybe it's midnight, or maybe it's one. I'm well, not continuing. I my... know he's gonna be here tonight. Okay, continuing it's my diatribe enough. before the editor like cuts us off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what they were trying to work out here. Uh, so, so from a game design perspective, like there you go. Is. Midnight. I will finish this thought right after these messages. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Longer part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I, I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. That this is going to be really work. hard and very annoying. It very does fast. not work. <laughs> anyway, oh wait, we get a translation. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, this um, guy, he's very disappointed that the moon has and he has died before the moon. This translation is not very useful. No. Anyway, he was hoping to bring the world together to uh, his dance because he's a very dancey guy. But he didn't get to teach his dance. He only, you know, figured out a way to master it. So we've added Spirit Dancer Commander to our notebook. Okay. Do you know what you need to do? I believe I do. But I do want to show his notebook entry before we do that. If I can find the power notebook. So, lest you forgot, we have this nifty little agenda that gives us... Oh, I've... I thought they gave us a little more thing about him. I know, well, it just shows us when he shows up, which is basically midnight every single day. Um, so, the theme of Majora's Mask is regret, and it's about, well, one of the themes. And it's really about Link, as we've discussed in previous checkpoints, mm -hmm. kind of finding ways to alleviate people's regrets. So this guy is regretful, he didn't get to, get to teach his dances to people. So let's try and make him not feel depressed, and I don't remember the song. <laughs> You were right there a second ago. Come on, man. How did this one go? I have no idea. No, I think it's like left, right, down. L left, right, down. Left, right, down. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> this is why I have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So the song of healing is to let alleviate people's regrets, basically. No, but seriously. But seriously. Why do you have me on this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to play the song of healing for no, you too? Yes! <laughs> anyway, um, he's asking us to spread his dance across the world because apparently all he needed was to hear the song of healing to figure this very basic thing out. Wait, when did he teach us how to dance? Oh, just now. I guess. That's the, that's so the we, mask's ability. It so we get these, this creepy amazing. swan yeah. mask thing. Yeah. And uh, before I think we cut off the episode, do you want to go do the thing with the mask? I want I want to show the thing with the mask before we, we you know do next time on overwrite. So uh, he's counting on you and translation. Yes, he's counting. On you. Thank you. Oh oh, don't don't burn up. Well, we finished the thing on the notebook. So anyway, our new mask. Check this out. We haven't showed what the Bremen mask can do either. Well, we'll show that in the next one. We can show this one. Go to Clocktown. No. Go to West Clocktown. You, you can sure? get a piece of heart. Yeah, it's real quick. Uh, we should show it in the next one. It's been... Okay, let's show it in the next one. What does this mask do? Find out in the next episode of Override. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there on the screen. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> See you guys then. Dude, we are bad at this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're getting better. We're getting better. I mean, now we will drink the water and this will be better, better.